Hey everyone, this is Amy with Simply Elizabeth Crafts and it is new catalog time. New annual catalog is out and I am so excited to be able to show you a product opens right to it. <laughs> I've been looking at this page a lot. Um, I'm going to be uh, showing you the Lazy Days stamp set, which is found on page 19 of the catalog. This was actually one of my top 10 products when I was going through the catalog the very first time, and then it was on the pre-order, and that made me very happy. So we are going to make a card using that today. And here's our card. I did a lot more die cutting and embossing than I did the stamping um, because I wanted to focus on the dies because the dies are pretty awesome. They have the railing and you've got a detailed rocking chair. Um, you also have, I'm kind of going to call this an awning. It's not really, but it's kind of your trim for your front porch, your pillar, and then your, your hanging part, um, your detailed part of your porch. Um, you also have some other little intricate dies that are just amazing. And then of course you've got several that will also match your stamps that are in the dies. All right, so let's get started. We are going to, I've done a lot of it so that you don't have to watch me go through all of that. Um, so we're gonna take our card base and we're gonna fold that in half. We'll use our bone folder, give it a good crease. All right, then Let's go ahead and take our, we're gonna set that aside so that it's not in the way. We're gonna take a piece of DSP and this DSP is from the Bright and Beautiful um, Suite and it's a birthday suite, but it has some really good solid backgrounds and the blue reminded me of water. So that is why I pulled it. And then I just used the stylus shapes and I used the largest square to cut out that piece. All right, so we are gonna flip this over and it's got confetti on the back side. <laughs> so you definitely don't wanna use that side to make it look like water. Because this is DSP as well, we're going to put quite a few dimensionals on it because we don't want any saggy pieces. And then you gotta take all those off, which I know takes forever, but better to take a moment to make it all come together instead of making it saggy. All right, so we're gonna put this up here and we're, I'm putting it a little closer to my right-hand side. All right, and the next thing I'm gonna do is I cut out, this is actually this piece right here, which cuts out the rug. But I didn't want to stamp it. I didn't want that pattern. So what I did was I embossed it with the uh, Painted Textured, which has been in the catalog, I think two years now. Um, I love it. It just gives it a little bit of dimension. So not much, but just kind of puts it there. And I did forget to tell you that our um, white piece, our basic white piece right there is embossed with the Time Worn Type. 3D. I love embossing. We're just going to put a little bit of adhesive on the back and then we're going to tuck it up underneath here. And we're probably going to have to trim off a little bit. I'm okay if it kind of comes over here like this because we want to make sure <laughs> that this doesn't hang off on your card. You could flip it around to make it a little easier, but we'll leave it just like that. Next thing we're going to do is we are going to take our railing. We're going to put some liquid glue on the back of it. We're just going to do a little bit. That's all we need. We're just going to put it on each little part here. I'm not going to put anything on the top or the bottom but putting it on the spindles there will help it stay exactly where it needs to go. And then we're gonna stick this on to the edge right here. 
and line it up with the bottom like that. And liquid glue, it takes it just a moment to dry. All right. Next, we're gonna take our rocking chair and we're gonna put this on here. Now, I want it to kind of hang off down here, but we're not gonna put dimensionals because that's a really small area. So we're just gonna put liquid glue. And then when we put our plant down, it will hold it in place. And it'll be okay if it smushes it down just a little bit. All right, so we're gonna stick this right about here. Okay, now let's go ahead and stamp our plant. We're gonna stamp it in black memento. We'll stamp it right there. We are then going to take a new in color, which if you are interested and are in the United States, I do an in color club with the catalog every, um, every time the annual catalog comes out. And there is a um, information in the description of this video for that. All right, so we're gonna take copper. So this is copper clay. And honestly, <laughs> probably not one of my favorite new in colors but it is perfect for this little basket um, or plant um, woven little basket so I thought it turned out really good using this color all right so that was the dark now we're gonna take the light and, and a trick with <laughs> Stampin' Blends I have learned is if you twist the cap, it will come off easier than just pulling it off. Sometimes if you, um, because it, they are, they're very tight on there so the air doesn't get in. So if you just kind of twist, it will come off. And of course this one's going to be um, harder. <laughs> but usually if you twist it a little bit, it'll pop right off for you. And it also helps to protect pulling this part from your your base because you got to make sure that you don't get that air in there to dry them out all right so we got that done now we're going to take some old olive and this is the dark and we're just going to kind of take the little dots that are on here and then the thin lines down the center of the leaves and we're going to put the dark there and that's just gonna kind of help give it a little bit of contrast. We'll take the light old olive. And then we're just gonna fill in. And then once all that's done, we're gonna pull in the mini cut and emboss machine because this is a little tiny piece. So you don't need a you don't need the big one. And I have the blue one. Of course, I love the little boho blue, which is an in color. And I was super excited about the blue <laughs> because blue is one of my favorite colors. It is purple and then blue. All right, so we're gonna take the dye that coordinates with that, and we're gonna put it right there. I'm gonna grab a piece of tape just to make sure it doesn't move. And this is just post-it tape right off of Amazon. We're gonna line it up. And then send it through. All right. Pull that off. We're going to save that for another project later. All right, and then we've got our little basket of leaves. You can't say flowers because there's no flowers in it. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to take and put two dimensionals on the back of this one. We're going to put one at the top and then one at the bottom. Yep. 
And then we're going to stick it right here. And it's going to kind of help keep that uh, rocking chair in place. So it's going to continue to kind of adhere that down. All right, so now I've got some clouds and I do want to add these clouds up to our thing. And I think I'm going to arrange them just a little different there. So we're going to put some adhesive on this side and take a dimensional. We're going to cut some edges here. I probably should have cut them before I put adhesive on the back, but that'd be all right. We're gonna cut a little piece right here. Stick that there. And you know what I did? I did it on the wrong side. All right, let's do that again. We want adhesive on this side. There we go. And then we want a dimensional on this side. Right there. Okay. Then we're gonna take and put this, and I'm gonna leave just a little bit of blue up at the top, and we're gonna stick this right here. Okay, then we're gonna take this one and put it right about here. So we're gonna take some liquid glue. It'll be easier with the liquid glue for this one. I'm gonna stick that right there. And then we've got one more, and this is actually another big one, so we're gonna stick it right about here. And you know what, I'm gonna actually set it up a little bit. We're gonna pop that one up. You know, every time you do a card, you switch it up a little bit. Makes it fun. It makes them all not the same, right? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna pop that one right there. Okay, and that kind of moved. There we go. Okay, so now we've got all of that and let's take and flip this over. We are going to use dimensionals to pop it up onto our card base. I am a dimensional girl. I love to use lots of dimension. And I like to give lots of dimension to my card and I like to use lots of dimensionals. I go through a lot. <laughs> All right. And then we're gonna put this right here. And you see it's hanging over just a little bit so we will trim that off, no big deal. Let's just take our scissors and we're just gonna cut it right about there. All right, so the next thing, or the last thing that we really need to do is our sentiment. So I've got this long piece right here. We've got our sentiment, and our sentiment says, when you take time for yourself. But I just want, take time for yourself. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that post-it tape again, and we are going to cover up when you we're gonna do that. Then we're gonna take the black memento, ink up the rest of it, take off the sticky, which is the most important part, <laughs> and then we're gonna stamp it right there in the center. And ta-da! So now you have take time for yourself, which is a much better sentiment when you're sitting on the front porch, <laughs> having some good alone time. All right, we are gonna take a pair of scissors and we are gonna trim off a little bit on this side. Then we are going to cut up the center and we are going to flag the end and then we're going to do it to the other side as well so we're going to cut off that part and we'll use that for a later project as well 
Then we will up the center, cut up the center. And then this one, I'm gonna go up just a little bit higher. I don't like the big long flags. So we're gonna try to make it not a big long one. And I think that's perfect. You know what? I don't know why I'm flagging both ends. This one needs to be straight down like that. <laughs> I got a little zealous with that. All right, now we are gonna take, we're gonna cut a little tiny dimensional off the edge here. See if I can get it off the paper now. There we go. We're gonna put a little tiny dimensional right there. Then we're gonna take some adhesive and do it down the rest. Then we're gonna stick it right here on the edge. Actually, let's move it down just a little bit. We're gonna stick that, you know, again, it's never the same. I probably should have moved the blue piece to the left a little bit, but it'll be all right. All right, so we got that there. Now we're gonna take some linen thread and I've got some little stragglers in here. So we're gonna take this one and tie a little bow. And then we will cut off the tails. And grab a glue dot. And then we're gonna tuck this right up underneath. We want it to go up underneath the edge. I'm gonna take my scissors and kind of tuck it up a little bit like that. And there we go. Let's fix that. Let's make it look like a bow there. All right, so there is the card using Lazy Days. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to let me know. And thanks for joining me. Bye.